Are you worried about your dog or your cat's teeth? There's brand new research coming out showing a 100% natural product being effective against periodontal disease. And you'll never guess what it is. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. And if you want to know about all things dental, I encourage you to sign up for a brand new free webinar. It's called Pet Dental Care Secrets, New Natural Remedies for Dental Disease in Dogs and Cats. Recognizing dental problems early, why oral health is so important for your pet's health. Bad breath, my new DIY bad breath recipe. Foods that help dental disease, foods that hurt. Should you even consider anesthesia-free dental cleaning? Plus, I'm gonna show you all of my top natural remedies. There are many, many remedies for dental disease in our pets. And I'm even gonna share with you some new and emerging ones. The webinar is free. It's happening Tuesday, September 30th at 5 p.m. Pacific. Click the link in the box below to sign up. A researcher at Penn State, Dr. Ezra Sanger, recently published a paper on this new therapy. Specifically, they included a combination of an enzyme inhibitor and a natural bioflavonoid, actually quercetin, specifically targeted a thing called senescence. And when they did that, and they gave these to these animal models, they found it had a marked reduction in the inflammation associated with periodontal disease in terms of this gum inflammation. It reduced markers of senescence, periodontal inflammation, and bone loss. First, what is senescence and what does that have to do with gum disease? Good question. So what they found is that chronic gum inflammation, that says red inflammation all above Tula's gum line above her teeth, that can lead to senescence or early senescence. So what can happen in dental disease, periodontal disease? So we've got gingivitis. We have inflammation, the redness along the gum line, her upper and lower gum line at the base of her teeth. So as she has chronic inflammation, that can lead to an aging related condition called senescence. But this can happen much, much earlier and you have this ongoing chronic inflammation. So a senescent cell, it's a cell that no longer divides, but it isn't fully dead yet. It's kind of sort of sitting there. Think of it almost like a zombie cell. So these zombie senescent cells, they're secreting inflammatory molecules. What's that doing? It's worsening the dental disease, more periodontal disease. So more plaque, more tartar more gum inflammation, more infection, more bone and tooth loss. Tool is a great example of why someone started looking at alternate ways to treat dental disease. And why is it that some animals have so much worse teeth? She recently had her teeth cleaned about three months ago and already she's got substantial plaque. I've been trying to brush her teeth, do some preventive maintenance, but it's just so quickly that the plaque, the tartar is building up and the secondary gingivitis. Like, why is it that a dog like Tua, who's on, who is on an array of different supplements, has some dental care at home, is having her teeth just get so bad so quick, or we have these other dogs, they just, and other animals, they just seem to go for years. Like, something else is going on. And it's not just her being uncomfortable, you got all these secondary diseases. She can have tooth pain, you have bacteria circulating within the blood system, they might see it on the heart, leading to heart disease, you might see it in the kidney, the other organs leading to kidney disease, liver disease, all of that coming from what's going in the mouth. And then you've got this ongoing chronic inflammation, these chronic inflammatory markers coming from these senescent cells. I mean, that makes you much more prone to a whole array of different metabolic diseases, much more likely to get something more serious such as cancer. So what the researchers came up with is they thought, why don't we target the, this senescent cell burden in terms of all these zombie cells that are sitting around secreting inflammatory markers, let's target them and see if that makes a difference in oral health. Can we see a decrease in periodontal disease? And that's exactly what they saw. So number one, they gave a drug, an enzyme inhibitor called disatinib. It's also used to treat certain types of cancers such as myeloid leukemia. And it's known to be effective against senescence. But then secondarily, they included a 100% natural product something like this, bioactive quercetin, that flavonoid, which is found in apple peel, giving it that nice red color, red onion, kale, so many fruits and vegetables. It's got an array of different benefits, specifically for allergies in our animals. But they also know quercetin, this powerful bioflavonoid, is also active against senescent cells. So they did a combination. They did the one drug, disatinib, the enzyme inhibitor, along with the quercetin. 
and they saw some marked improvements in all the markers of periodontal disease. You know, I was always taught in veterinary school, periodontal disease, it's just a bacterial infection. It's caused by a bacteria, plaque turns into tartar, affects the gum line. We see this infection going on. But as she says, periodontal disease, it is so much more than just bacterial infection. It's driven by immune and metabolic dysfunction, cellular aging, and inflammation. And as she says, by targeting inflammation and senescent cells, we can disrupt that ongoing loop of chronic inflammation leading to more periodontal disease, which causes more inflammation and the cycle keeps going. If you can interrupt the loop, you have much better oral health. So when they looked at aging mice who have similar, you know, advanced periodontal disease, kind of like how Tula has, they found that when they gave them the enzyme inhibitor in combination with the quercetin, they saw a marked reduction in the number of senescent cells. They saw a marked decrease in the amount of inflammation. The oral health of these mice, it went from being like an old aging mouse, like old aging Tula, to a young mouse. This combination of the enzyme inhibitor in combination with the quercetin. And one of the other big things is you have ongoing periodontal disease. You actually lose bone, it's called alveolar bone. And by using this combination therapy, they saw that was reversed. I like how she concludes it saying she's really excited about the role that natural compounds, specifically quercetin, can play in improving oral and systemic health. Mm. Big shout out for this guy. And the next study they're looking at, they're just gonna start with quercetin, targeting it towards people that have periodontal disease. Mm. And as she said, it's widely available, relatively inexpensive, really safe. So if you have a dog or cat with ongoing dental disease, kind of a dog you're bringing into the veterinarian, you know, every six months for a dental scale and polish, think about getting a natural compound like this, the bioactive quercetin. It may really make a big difference. Pretty standard dog and cat doses, 50 milligrams per 15 pounds of body weight daily. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets, this new remedy for dental disease in our dogs and cats. And last but not least, I encourage you to sign up for a brand new free webinar. It's called Pet Dental Care Secrets, Dr. Jones's Top Natural Remedies for Dental Disease in Dogs and Cats. I'm gonna cover everything dental from why it's important to recognize dental disease in your dog or cat, some of my top remedies, i.e. my bad breath recipe, etc. So if you have a dog or cat with dental disease, you're hoping to spend less money at your veterinarian, I encourage you to sign up for a brand new free webinar. It's happening Tuesday, September 30th at 5 p.m. Pacific. Click the link in the box below to sign up. And if you like what I say, you wanna learn more, click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.